New at 5, Clayton County's former sheriff indicted and arrested. Today, he speaks to CBS Atlanta's Wendy Saltzman in his first interview since getting out of jail. Some very serious allegations are being made against you, and I feel like it is time for you to defend yourself. But I can't defend Good evening, I'm Guy Rawlings. And I'm Stephanie Fisher. Victor Hill posted bond late Friday on theft and racketeering charges. The former sheriff held, held his silence about that arrest until today. His first interview was with chief investigative reporter Wendy Saltzman, and she's asking our tough questions. Victor Hill has said all along that he is innocent, but the evidence against him is mounting and he broke his silence to me today. We had tough questions for Hill and his attorney about the former sheriff's involvement in criminal activities. The only thing I'm guilty of is running for sheriff. Today in his first post jail interview, former Sheriff Victor Hill responds to allegations. He ran the Clayton County Sheriff's Office like a criminal enterprise. Some serious allegations have been made against you, Victor, They're that you serious. stole county money. They're not serious allegations. That he stole county money, that's not a serious allegation? I am confident that this indictment will not stand. This is an indictment that is alleging $14 here, $13 here, manipulated to the point to put into a RICO indictment. Records obtained by CBS Atlanta News show Hill transferred $7,000 from his campaign to a corporation where he is named as the president, secretary, and treasurer. I want to respond. I want to say, no, that's not so. By court order, I can't. But as of right now, there is no gag order in the case preventing him from defending himself. An allegation has been made that you had a county employee write your autobiography. I can't go into every allegation. He just kept saying, you know, if you don't do this, you know, I'm going to fire you. Jonathan Newton, also named in the indictment, told me Hill, while sheriff, ordered him to write his autobiography on County Time. He says this audio tape is Hill directing him to finish the book. I'm worried about that. Everybody's coming from my head. I got, I got, I got to finish a book. It ain't, it ain't nothing, it ain't nothing the folks can do to me. I just want the book finished. That was leaked. I don't know where it was leaked from. I don't know who it was leaked from. All I know is that information is not supposed to be out there. But the evidence is out there, and Hill isn't responding. He's innocent. He's cloaked in completely a cloak of innocence right now. He doesn't have to defend himself. Hill only said again today he is innocent and that the truth will come out. He also says he will still have his name on the ballot for sheriff. Now we've posted the entire indictment and that audio recording online at CBS Atlanta for you to decide. I'm Wendy Saltzman, CBS Atlanta News. Former Clayton County Sheriff Victor Hill speaks out for the first time today after being released from jail. A Clayton County grand jury indicted and arrested him on criminal charges last Wednesday. Well, today he gave his first post jail interview to CBS Atlanta's chief investigative reporter, Wendy Saltzman. Well, we had some tough questions today for Hill after he was indicted on 37 criminal charges, including theft by taking and racketeering. And while the evidence against Hill is mounting, he claims he's innocent. And his attorney says Hill doesn't need to defend himself. It is time for you to defend yourself. In his first post jail interview, former Clayton County Sheriff Victor Hill refused to respond to accusations he engaged in criminal activity. Victor, mm -hmm. did you steal county money? The only thing I'm guilty of is running for sheriff. But the 37 count indictment alleges he ran the sheriff's department like a criminal enterprise, stealing from the taxpayers. Some serious allegations have been made against you, Victor, They're that you serious. stole county money. They're not serious allegations. That he stole county money, that's not a serious allegation? I am confident that this indictment will not stand. This is an indictment that is alleging $14 here, $13 here, manipulated to the point to put into a RICO indictment. Hill and his attorney Musa Ghanayim claim they can't speak about the evidence we presented them. I want to respond. I want to say no, that's not so. By court order, I can't. I know that Victor Hill is a criminal. I don't feel like it. I know it. One of the accusations is Hill forced his then spokesperson, Jonathan Newton, to write an autobiography about Hill on the county's time. He just kept saying, you know, if you don't do this, you know, I'm going to fire you. Newton released this tape, he says, of Hill coaxing him to write his book. I'm worried about that. Everybody's coming from my head. I got, I got, I got to finish a book. It ain't, it, ain't nothing, it ain't nothing the folks can do to me. I just want the book finished. I'm confident. I'm confident that you'll see that there's nothing wrong here. There's absolutely nothing wrong here. 
Tell me why. I can't tell you why yet. Now, although Hill and his attorney say they can't respond right now, there isn't actually a gag order in place to prevent him or his attorney from doing just that. They had little response to the actual charges except to say the truth will come out in a court of law, and Hill says he is still running for sheriff. I'm Wendy Saltzman, CBS Atlanta News. Former Clayton County Sheriff Victor Hill speaks out for the first time since getting out of jail. Hill was arrested last week after a grand jury indicted him on charges that he stole county money and used county resources on himself. CBS Atlanta's chief investigative reporter Wendy Saltzman got the first post jail interview with Hill and Wendy hit him hard with tough questions about his charges. Victor Hill has said all along he's innocent, but the evidence against him is mounting. He broke his silence to me today, and we had tough questions for Hill and his attorney about the former sheriff's involvement in criminal activities. The only thing I'm guilty of is running for sheriff. Today in his first post-jail interview, former Sheriff Victor Hill responds to allegations. He ran the Clayton County Sheriff's Office like a criminal enterprise. Some serious allegations have been made against you, Victor, that you serious. stole county money. They're not serious allegations. That he stole county money, that's yeah, not a serious what, allegation? I am confident that this indictment will not stand. This is an indictment that is alleging $14 here, $13 here, manipulated to the point to put into a RICO indictment. Records obtained by CBS Atlanta News show Hill transferred $7,000 from his campaign to a corporation where he is named as the president, secretary, and treasurer. I want to respond. I want to say, no, that's not so. By court order, I can't. But as of right now, there is no gag order in the case preventing him from defending himself. An allegation has been made that you had a county employee write your autobiography. I can't go into every allegation. Well, he just kept saying, you know, if you don't do this, you know, I'm going to fire you. Jonathan Newton, also named in the indictment, told me Hill, while sheriff, ordered him to write his autobiography on County Time. He says this audio tape is Hill directing him to finish the book. I ain't worried about that. Everybody's got to my head. I got, I got, I got to finish the book. It ain't, it ain't nothing, it ain't nothing that folks can do to me. I just want the book finished. That was leaked. I don't know where it was leaked from. I don't know who it was leaked from. All I know is that information is not supposed to be out there. But the evidence is out there, and Hill isn't responding. He's innocent. He's cloaked in completely a cloak of innocence right now. He doesn't have to defend himself. Hill only said again he's innocent and that the truth will come out. And he says he'll still have his name on the ballot for sheriff. We've posted the entire indictment and that audio recording online at CBSAtlanta.com for you to decide. I'm Wendy Saltzman, CBS Atlanta News.